Wow. Higher and higher into Sari. Definitely his last tour. A new week, new guests, the same mountains, the same dogs. Hey Matti, welcome back again. This time I'm heading out on the week tour. We are camping a little bit. We are staying in cabins. I have four clients with me. And we are going to enter Sorek National Park. I think we will have a wonderful week. Blue sky right now and sunshine. End of the week it will come in a little bit more wind and rain. That's not good. Down there is Salta Lukta Mountain Lodge where we started today. And over there is Stura Sjöfallet National Park. That's Lulep Kirkau and, and all that. And we're heading towards Sitojar and then turning into Sarek. But tonight we're staying in Sitojar cabin. I have eight dogs in my team. This week I also have the trailer with me, packed up with camping gear. And yeah, I think we will enjoy this week. Midway between Santa Lucta and CTR, you have this kind of emergency shelter that people can use if it's snowstorm. Toilet, small shelter, you can fit some people in there and get away from the most heavy wind. We continue, it's windy right here, so we continue a little bit, I think it's less wind up there. coldish wind. The snow is cold and very very nice for the sleds and also for the dogs. So the dogs don't get overheated. It's really really perfect conditions for the mountain tours right now. This is lovely and it's my birthday today. I turned 52. So, that's good. or whatever I don't know but it's quite flat open area and uh, this area you wanna visit a day like this this is exactly the day you want to be here 
Until now today, I have been lucky to not being here the windy day. So no real snowstorm for me yet. But the season is not over, so... I know what's coming. That's not... When you spend so much time out here, it's not a question about if you get snowstorm or if you get lucky with the weather. It's more a question on when you get the snowstorm. Where are you when you get the snowstorm? How much can you avoid the snowstorm? Do you know when it's coming in advance? Could you trust the weather forecast? Could you go to a safe place before it's over you? Will it come fast? Will it come slow? Yeah. Part of the life. Now we left CTR cabin and it's amazing minus 15 degrees this morning and uh, blue sky, crispy weather and we're heading towards Sarek National Park. Spent two nights in camp along the trail and then we will reach Aktu again. After that we will get a different kind of weather. It will start changing already tonight. So on Saturday they promised average wind of 15 meters per second and they also promised quite heavy snowfall and wet wet snow and rain. So I'm not looking forward to Saturday. Hopefully the weather forecast is warm, but I don't know. We'll see. This is good, perfect weather for dog sledding. And we're going into that valley along Sito Yard. It's so beautiful here. You see all the kids behind me. See the cliffs here, the mountains, and so on. Really nice. Kind of massive mountains there. So beautiful.
Wow. Higher and higher in Tassari. Last time I was here, outside Pasta Vages, the gate to Pasta Vage, I couldn't see my dogs. I couldn't see my guests. And often, Clara saved our asses. They find a way down to the birch forest. I had no idea where we were. They made a super great, fantastic job that time. So, yeah, this is nice. I usually say that Dolphin saved my life here once, and Clara also. And uh, Dolphin have bad draws. So. It's definitely his last tour to Sorek. That's really hard. He's so happy to be back in my team again. I didn't believe that he should be able to follow another mountain hike, mountain tour, and now he's back. And. Uh, He's so happy and uh, it's just a question of time until I had to put him down. Could be a week, maybe the summer, I don't know. Maybe one year, maybe two years, I have no idea, but I don't think he will be able to run here in the mountains so much more. He's only eight year old, but he's a fantastic dog for me. That's a really hard backside of this lifestyle with the dogs. That they they don't live forever. Now I think we're going to stop for coffee. Best, best, best. Yeah, we stop for coffee. Dana. Time for that. Then we made, went up a little bit higher and turned around. And now we have a really cold wind. Really cold. I'm actually cold. But we're going down to see the RPM and searching for a camp spot. Go, go, go! Back step, back step. Don't wait! Hey, 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 hey again. Sanna! So finally we find camp spot. Open water. Flat ground for the tents. Good parking spot for the dogs and a great view and still some sunlight. 
Now just take care of the dogs. with my new sleeping bag maybe it was a little bit too warm I don't know I slept like a king now we left our tent camp and uh, have turned our team towards the forest it's much more cloudy today so it seems like the weather forecast is correct if the weather forecast is correct we will get bad weather in a couple of days not looking forward to that. Now we're aiming for the forest where we will put up our camp for the next night. situation has changed a little bit suddenly I could reach the latest weather forecast and uh, it has changed a lot it's not only rain now on Saturday it's wind speed up to 32 34 meters per second so we have changed our plans we are not going to Akse we are aiming for CTR tomorrow and uh, in CTR we will dig down into the cabin and prepare us for a storm. It's a little bit work to take care of dogs when it's snowstorm, so it's good if you know that this is coming and uh, then you can prepare. But today down to the forest here and camping again. The trail is perfect, the snow is cold and I'm not looking forward to the warm weather that they promised because they promised rain plus 4-5 degrees heavy wind that's like a hair dryer blowing on the landscape so we'll see what happened with the trail and it will be quite nasty and wet I think but we see now we enjoy the life of the cold snow Saturday it's up to 34 meter per second Sunday only 30 S Saturday is actually up to 36 meter per second in Saltalukta and rain at the same time Sunday the night to Sunday up to 35 
so I really hope that Sunday will not be super heavy wind I really hope that So it's a new morning and the weather outside is so beautiful. When I'm looking at the weather forecast it's actually a little bit strange that this will change to bad 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 weather in 24 hours or even faster. But no at first. You look happy. Hey, so now we have taken off and it's still very nice weather and no wind but we are protected in the forest area and we're still quite far east of the mountain range and this wind pushing on from the west and when it's pushing from the west it's better to go east but we had to reach Salta Lukta tomorrow so oh not tomorrow but the day after tomorrow so we had to start going west into the storm So the last stretch over the lake was a little bit windy and snowy but when we arrived to the cabin it calmed down again. What we have done now is that we have taken the dog teams, driving them up behind the cabin and parked them in the untouched snow here. Now we expect hard wind over 30 meters per second and we also expect wet snow and rain. And when you find a place like this with soft snow, the snow is dry and soft. And when it starts raining, uh, this snow can absorb quite a lot of water before it gets wet. If you park them on the dogs on hard snow and it starts raining, that snow can't absorb water. So then it gets more wet where the dogs stay. So this is really, really perfect. When it starts blowing hard, then we will see if we need to dig some holes for the dogs also. But I think it's quite protected here. Uh, it's always difficult right now to imagine 30 meters per second or something like that. Now it's time to go into the cabin and make some tea, coffee or maybe hot chocolate for I never drink hot chocolate, maybe I should take a hot chocolate. <laughs>
this evening in the cabin this I think they are from Czechoslovakia and Slovakian and uh, Hungary and so on I don't really know but they have been playing guitar and harmonica and very 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 nice atmosphere in the cabin tonight and I'm sitting there and thinking that we are people from different countries side by side in a small cabin and it's peaceful in other places of the world people are fighting there have been people from Ukraine here in this cabin there have been people from Russia in this cabin at the same time when I've been here also nice people Now they may be forced to shoot each other, are there, over there. And here, in the Swedish mountain, sitting, playing guitar, singing and having a nice time together. Side by side, humans living on this planet. Yeah. So, today we spend the whole day in CTR cabin and uh, that decision was based on the weather forecast. They promised um, up to 36 meters per second in the wind and they promised quite a lot of uh, rain and snow, wet snow. Now, afterwards, when we know uh, it could have been an idea to just continue our plan to go to Aktse yesterday and uh, <coughs> today actually coming here. That had been possible. It, there is a small risk that it had been a quite rough ride here, but it's also possible that we could have had a nice tour. There have been heavy winds on the other side of the lakes and this cabin is protected and I think it was a good decision. But it is on the line like this. It could have been a good decision, it could have been the wrong decision. Anyway, it's a wrong decision in the right direction. It's actually worse if we make the wrong decision in the wrong direction. So we end up in the middle of the mountain with losing guests or something. So we had to make it safe. And yeah, you never know. We're not the only one who have stayed in this cabin. So we're not the only one who made this decision. Tomorrow, it's a new day. And we're heading back towards Santa Lukta. Now I will go to bed. So now we are back on the trail again after the day in the cabin. And now when we are up here we see a lot of this bare ground where the snow has been melting away. So I think it was a good decision to not traveling yesterday in the rain and in the warm wind. Much better today. The trail is soft and the dogs sometimes falling into the snow and uh, we just had to go calm, nice and heading towards Santa Lucta. coming closer and closer to Salto Lukta mountain lodge and I usually not looking forward to a shower but today I'm really looking forward to a warm shower that will be super nice and then a dinner and 
to the restaurant and a cold beer. Uh, I want to say thank you to Norbert and uh, Ina who follow on this tour and to Peter and Anton who follow on this tour. I hope I see all of you again. You're welcome back. All of you who watch this video, please subscribe and I'm happy that you like the videos. Hope I see you next video. Ciao! <laughs>